Hey there, this is Red. It's time for another episode of Red Plays. All right, we've got Guardians of the Galaxy cards from Galaxy's Most Wanted expansion. Got Rocket Raccoon out there, and that's who we're going to play with today. So we're going to take a look at his pre-constructed deck. So let's take a look at Rocket here. So Rocket has three recovery. We've got a hand size of six and nine hit points. And we've got Tinkering Action. Choose and discard a tech upgrade you control. Draw two cards. So if you're looking at any other hero, you'd be kind of like, what? Tech upgrade? What? But in the Rocket deck, there's a lot of tech upgrades. So um, Rocket's got lots of guns. So it's pretty thematic. All right, on the other side, we've got Rocket Raccoon Hero. Tooth Wart, one attack, one defense. And my favorite ability name, Murdered You. So response after you deal excess damage to an enemy, draw a card. So... Um, really looking forward to playing Rocket. He's one of my favorites. So, Tooth Wart, one attack, one defense. All right. Now, we're doing Rhino because Rhino is kind of the standard, and I haven't played any Rocket yet. So, we're going to see how this works out. So, we got Rhino out there. He's got his 14 starting hit points. We've got the break in out there, which is your standard. Once it hits seven, it's done. And. Rocket is an aggression deck, so this, this should be fun. All right, so we've got a hand size of six and nine hit points. Got nine hit points out there, 14 break in. Up on the side here, we've got our nemesis. He's still out of the game, but that's Blackjack O'Hare ready to hop in. So uh, hopefully we don't see him come into play. He just stays up there in the corner. Well, maybe we kind of do want to see him come into play because that would be kind of fun, but I kind of want and don't want to see him both at the same time. All right, so we need to, anyway, we need to get on. Hand size of six. Let's grab our six cards and see what we've got. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what we come up with. So this is going to be a little bit slow, this first game here, because we have a lot of new cards to go through. So first card is looking for trouble. So looking for trouble is we've got a hero action. It's zero cost. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until you discard a minion. Put that minion into play engaged with you. Remove three threat from the main scheme. Okay, so that's kind of cool, but not very cool right now. We've got a, oop, there's a follow through, which says when your hero's attack deals any amount of excess damage, increase that amount by one. So Rocket does things in excess. So I think that's going to be a good card and we're going to want to hold on to that one. All right, also we've got uh, ooh, a hand cannon. So tech weapon, restricted, uses three charge counters. When your hero makes a basic attack, exhaust hand cannon, remove one charge counter from it. Your hero gets plus two attack for that attack. Then that attack gains overkill. That looks like a very rockety card. I think we're going to want to hold on to that one too. Into the fray, deal six damage to a minion. For each point of excess damage dealt, remove one threat from the main scheme. Lots of damage, but that's got to be aimed at a minion. We have Rocket's Pistol. Ooh, that costs one. Three charge counters. And it's restricted, so that'll be a thing with the Rocket deck, is there's a lot of cards that are restricted. So we saw the Hand Cannon is restricted. We see Rocket's Pistol is restricted. You can have two restricted cards in play at once. So i um, going to have to make choices. All right, so Rocket's Pistol enters play with three charge counters on it. Exhaust Rocket's Pistol, remove one charge counter from it, deal two to an enemy. And then we have Booster Boots, which play only if your character has Guardian Trait. Hey, I happen to have that. When you would take any amount of damage from an attack, exhaust Booster Boots and discard the top card of your deck, prevent one of that damage. All right, so um things we want to hold on to i think are these three cards maybe even the booster boots i don't think we'll be able to play all of those if i get a double resource we may be able to do some magical things so we're going to discard these two we're going to draw two Let's see what we get so we get a oh another end to the fray and oh food and fruit I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. So hero action until the end of the turn, deal two damage from Rocket Raccoon for any time, each for each time you deal any amount of damage to an enemy. Uh, so that looks like a good late game card, not a great card right now. All right, so those are our cards for 
starting out here. Let's move them down out of the way a little bit. All right, so we're ready. We did our mulligan. I think we're good to go. Now, Rocket's ability doesn't do me very much good at this point because uh, I don't have any tech upgrades out there. So discarding one of them does me Zippo. Um, well, actually, I could discard a tech upgrade. Well, no, we won't do that yet. All right, so we're going to go Rocket side. Rocket Man or Rocket Raccoon. And let's see here. Let's get some things into play here. So we've got Rocket's Pistol. That costs one. We've got Follow Through. And that is going to cost me two to get out there. So there's one, two. So do I do two for the Rocket Pistol? And one for the, the gun? Or do I prep a little bit maybe and do get the booster boots and the rocket pistol out there or do I not worry about the rocket pistol so the rocket pistol is so I got I've got two guns I could get out there choices and guns and I couldn't get both guns out there and not get the follow through so if I do that I would get one to do two plus on that one it's going to get charge counters I'm going to get plus two attack and the attack gains overkill it's like, do I just want to do damage? I could go crazy damage action with Rocket, which seems kind of fun. So let's go that way. We're going to get the hand cannon out there. So we're going to spend, we're going to use these two resources to get the hand cannon into play. All right. And then we're going to use this as a resource to get Rocket's pistol into play. And we're going to hold on to the booster boots. All right. Let's see here. This gets... Three charge counters. Ooh, this is going to be interesting because I don't know that I've got. We'll see how many charge counters we go through here. I'm grabbing my tokens and I'm looking kind of like, uh, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. And that's going to get three charge counters. All right. So we're going aggression here. We're going to do some damage. So Rocket's going to... I think we're going to attack. That's what we do. So we're going to attack for one. And then when you when your hero makes a basic attack, exhaust hand cannon, which we're gonna do. Remove one charge counter, gets plus two attack for that attack, it gains overkill. All right, so Rocket's gonna do three points of damage there to Rhino. So he's down to 11. All right, and then we've got our Rocket's pistol over here and it says exhaust Rocket's pistol. Remove a charge counter, deal two damage to an enemy. All right, so he's down to nine. Not a bad opening salvo, not the biggest that I've done, but I'm also set up to do some repeat salvos like that, which is pretty good. All right, so that's going to be the end of my turn. I'm going to unexhaust my stuffs. We're going to go back up to a hand size of five. So we've got booster boots. We're going to get another follow through. Relentless Assault, so that's from the core set. And then we've got a uh, deal five damage to a minion. If I use a physical resource, it gains overkill. Meh. Uh, reload, ooh, that looks interesting. Reload says, ready each tech upgrade you control. Oh, <laughs> that could be fun. And then we have uh, Into the Fray, six points of damage to a minion. Well, I'm ready to blow through some minions if they come out, but... Uh, We'll see if that happens. All right, so that's the end of the hero phase. We're over to the villain phase. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do that one threat on the main scheme. Break in gets one. Rhino's gonna see Rocket out there and he's gonna come attack. Rocket's gonna take this attack because I got lots of shooting to do next round. I don't wanna, I don't wanna tap out there. So he's attacking for two, he's gonna get a boost card. He's gonna get a boost of one. So he's gonna hit me for three. Not too bad, but of course, this is, we're playing, you know, standard Rhino, so it shouldn't be too bad. All right, I'm gonna draw an encounter card. Counter card is uh, tough. Oh, so Rhino's gonna get a tough status card. Boo. All right, so where's my tough status cards at? That's okay, we have lots of ways to get rid of that, as far as Rocket is concerned here. Okay. That's the end of the villain's turn. We're over to the hero's turn. Now, the good thing is we've got a lot of stuff in play, which is going to let me do an attack again. I've got two cards 
that do damage to minions, which don't do me any good at all. Um, this follow through would allow me to do excess damage, but I don't really have any excess damage to do. So what I think we're going to do here is we're going to use our Relentless Assault to put on some booster boots. All right, so we've got some boots now. So our boots say uh, when you would take any amount of damage from an attack, exhaust booster boots, discard the top card of the deck, prevent more of that damage. All right. Now I do have some cards in here that can potentially help me get enemies out, like that first one that I got rid of. Where'd he go? Looking for trouble. I got rid of that one. That one could actually help me get some minions out to do some of that overkill damage, but we're, we're not there. All right. Now, I'm looking at using this reload. I don't think my Into the Fray is going to get much play. I think the thing that I'm wondering about... Well, okay, so let's look at this. I'm going to end up attacking. I'm going to exhaust to get plus two for my attack. I can reload to ready it up, but I will not be able to use it twice. So that's kind of a kind of a sad thing, I guess. All right. Maybe what I should do is flip to alter ego. I could I can use my pistol twice, flip to alter ego, get rid of it to draw cards. That or I hold on to it. I think I leave it used, hold on to it until next round and then get rid of it in order to draw cards. That seems to make more sense. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna exhaust our pistol. Boom, it's gonna go down to one. I mean, two damage to an enemy, which is gonna get rid of his tough. All right, we're gonna go ahead and play our reload, which says ready up tech stuff that I've got. So we're gonna ready up our pistol. At that point in time, we're going to use our pistol, use our hand cannon, and we're gonna attack. So we're gonna do one, two, three from that, and then another four, five. And I'm out of charge counters on there, but we're doing five damage, so Rhino's down to four. Okay, the thing to note is these do not have uses, they have charge counters. If they had uses, this would go away at the end of the turn, but since it doesn't have uses, it stays out there. Because I do have cards within Rocket Raccoon that can give charges back. But, uh, I don't know, it's kind of, a, kind of a good and a bad is it helps thin my deck, but then I've got a bunch of used, also, that are restricted. So I kind of need to get them to cycle out in order to put my next weapon out there. So it's, it's a good and a bad thing. So we'll, we'll see how this works out. Okay, so I've done all my actions that I want to do. I think we're going to flip over to Alter Ego. Now on Alter Ego side, I could do that using discarded tech upgrade you control, draw two cards, but I think I'll wait and do that until next round I'll use that action to get me two additional cards to work with that round. All right, and I think we're gonna get rid of my follow through for now. All right, so we're gonna be done, we're gonna ready up, we're gonna get Six cards, because we've got a hand size of six on Rocket Raccoon's alter ego side. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. Interesting things that we've got here. So take a look at our first one, which is I've got a plan. Hero responds after you make a basic thwart. Ready Rocket gets plus one thwart while in hero form until the end of the phase. All right. So that's going to potentially give me a free thwart as Rocket. Got a genius, give me two resources, looking for trouble we've looked at. I have two battery packs. So battery packs are, enters play with two charge counters on it, exhaust the battery pack, move a charge counter from this card to another tech upgrade you control. So I could charge up my hand cannon or my pistol. And then I've got Groot. So Groot is a guardian. After Groot defends against an attack, heal two damage from him. Ooh, so Groot's looking pretty cool right now. We may be getting Groot into play. All right. We're going over to the villain's turn. So what's happening on the villain's turn? First, we're going to put a third on the main scheme. Then Rhino is going to scheme, and this is the scary side of stuff. I should be okay, because he's only got one scheme. We have seven threat that that can build up to. So we've got one... Boost to one, so we're adding two, so we're up to four. 
All right. Um, where's the two? There's a two. All right, so we're up to four on the break-in. Now we're going to draw our encounter card. And we get, boom, a Hydra Mercenary. So he's going to have Guard. All right. There's something that I could use. All those overkill cards that I had before, yeah, they would have actually been useful now. But it's too late. Okay, so we're back over to the hero side of stuff. Now, I was planning on getting rid of Rocket's Pistol. But now I've got these battery packs out there. I could draw another pistol. So do I charge up my pistol and run with it? Or, also I think we're going to want to get Groot out there. That's one of the things we're going to want to do. So there's three for Groot, right? If I attack with my hand cannon, I get plus two and I get overkill. But that's also going to use up the last charge on my hand cannon. So I think we are going to get rid of Rocket's Pistol. So we're going to use our Choose and Discard a Tech card you control, draw two cards. So Rocket's Pistol is going to go away, and we're going to draw two cards. We're going to get Salvage and a Rocket Launcher. Holy cow! All right, cool cards. Cool card alert. All right, so Salvage is... After you spend this card, put a Tech upgrade from your discard pile on top of your deck. All right, so that gun could be coming back. And then this is Rocket Launcher. Restricted, enters play with two charge counters on it. Exhaust Rocket Charger, remove one charge counter from it. Choose a player, deal two damage to the villain and each minion engaged with that player. <laughs> so there's a couple of damage there. Now, unfortunately, that Hydra Mercenary's got three on him. So um, that makes that a little bit not as cool. But the problem is a Rocket Launcher costs three to get out there and if i go that route i probably can't get my because i kind of want to get groot I, I would have to make a choice which to go after because i could do it but then i won't get one of my battery packs and i think my battery packs would be really nice to get out there i could get my i could get groot out there I could do a simple attack for one. Not use my hand cannon and then also use the rocket launcher. Ooh, that's that's an interesting idea. I could not use my hand cannon. Attack for one, rocket launcher. That's going to take out the Hydra Mercenary. It's going to hit Rhino. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to flip over to rocket. And then after I deal excess damage to an enemy, draw a card. Ooh, so that has another interesting side effect there. All right, so we're going to spend three. We're going to use our salvage and our battery pack to put our rocket launcher into play. So it comes into play with two charge counters on it. Two. All right. Um, when we play our salvage, salvage says, after you spend this card, put a tech upgrade from your discard top pile onto my deck. So let's see, we're going to take rocket's pistol, put it right there on top of my deck. All right. Deck upgrade. There we go. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to fire our rocket launcher. So rocket launcher says, Ghost rocket launcher, remove one charge counter, choose a player, deal two damage to the villain, and each minion engaged with that player. All right, so there we go. Boop. We're gonna do two damage to the villain and each minion. So two there and two here. All right, now, we are going to use our hand cannon to attack the Hydra Mercenary. I don't know if it's a bad idea or not, but we're doing it. Oh, and this is used. Okay. I'm having fun. We're doing stuff. So we're going to exhaust rocket, 
to attack with the hand cannon to attack the Hydra mercenary. So we are doing one, two, three. It's going to use my last charge counter. So we're doing three, and this attack gains overkill. So we're going to do one. We overkill for two, which is going to go into Rhino. Hydra mercenary dead. Rhino is gone. Um, we're going to look for our breaking and taking and bring it into play. Do, do, do. Where's breaking and taking? Breaking and taking is going to come into play. All right. Rhino gets 15 hit points. 15 hit points. And the breaking and taking is going to have three threat on it. So let's see here. One, two, three. Three threat. Rhino needs 15, one, five. All right, so we shot our gun. We did, after you deal excess damage to an enemy, draw a card. And I did excess damage to that Hydra Mercenary, so I get to draw a card. And we get the pistol that I just put back there. All right, now, now comes the fun part. Um, I do have my, I've got a plan. Oh, that's after I make a basic thwart. Oh, messed that up. All right. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. I got excited on doing damage. I forgot to thwart. Ooh, that's problematic. All right. So I could, looking for trouble, which would remove three threat from the main scheme and would bring a minion into play. Which I probably should have done before I shot off my rocket launcher. Oh well. You know, I tend to figure these things out later. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. These are both restricted, so I can't bring my pistol into play until one of those goes away. Let's see here. We've got Groot. So let's bring Groot into play. So I've got one, two, three. Actually, yeah, we'll use those three to bring Groot into play. All right, and then let's go ahead and do we use our I've got a plan? Or do we use our pistol? I think we're going to use our I've got a plan to bring our battery pack into play. It says enters play with two charge counters on it, so we got two. Uh, we can exhaust battery pack. Take a charge counter from here and put it on another thing. So we're going to take it off of here and we're going to put it onto here. So our hand cannon has a charge again. All right. And then the question is, do I want to attack with Groot or do I look at him defending against the rhino attack? I think he's just going to defend against the rhino attack. All right. So we're going to be done there. We're going to draw back up to five cards. I could attack, well, see the thing is he could potentially live through the Rhino attack, which is the big thing. Oh, the other thing is I've got the breaking and taken out there. Maybe I should take one off of that to ensure that Rocket can get rid of it next round. I think we're gonna do that. So we're gonna use Groot to thwart for one off of the breaking and taken. He is gonna have one damage on him. That makes it a little bit dicey as to whether he can take the Rhino attack or not, but Hopefully we'll be all right. Okay, now we're gonna exhaust. Exhaust many things. And we're gonna draw back up to five. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, hey, that's my combo card. So Flora and Fauna is my team up card. So I would put two growth counters on Groot, which doesn't really matter. Or place two charge counters on a rocket raccoon upgrade and ready that upgrade. Ooh, ooh, that's kind of fun. All right. Villain's turn. What are we doing on the villain's turn? Now this I don't like. This is kind of dicey because I screwed up my getting rid of thwart, right? So we're going to put one threat on the main scheme. Rhino is going to come to attack rocket raccoon. So I could have Groot step in front of this. I think I could take the damage as far as Rocket is concerned. 
I can use my booster boots. So let's see, booster boots say, when you would take any amount of damage from them and attack, exhaust booster boots and discard the top card of your deck, prevent one of that damage. So maybe that's what we'll do is we'll, uh, I think we'll booster boots there. So Rocket is gonna just take the attack from Rhino. So Rhino's attacking, he's attacking for three. Ooh, so I can take six. Well, we should be okay. Barely okay, but we should be okay. All right, he's attacking for three. He's going to get a boost of two, so he's attacking for five. I am going to exhaust my booster boots. I'm going to take four. I have to discard the top card of your deck. And I take four damage. Ouch. All right, so we're going to pop this out. We're up to seven. All right, now the scary thing is I've got two breaking and taking cards. Or two cards because of breaking and taking, two encounter cards. So let's see what we get for encounter cards. Encounter card number one is Stampede. Rhino attacks you. The character is damaged by this attack. The character is stunned. Okay, that was not part of the plan. All right, so this one Groot is going to step in front of. All right, so Rhino's attacking for three. He's going to get a boost of one. So he attacks for four. That means Groot is up to five damage, but if Groot defends against an attack, he's going to heal two, so he would go to three. All right, so Groot's down, but not out. Good job, Groot, taking that defense. All right, next encounter card is... Armored Rhino Suit. Uh, force interrupt. When any amount of damage will be placed on Rhino, place it here. Oh, it's his big silly suit. So he's getting a five defense boost, essentially. All right. I need to do some recovery because uh, things were looking okay. And then they got messy. So, all right. Where are we going from here? Got exhausted boots, we got a battery pack, we got a rocket launcher. We will probably be getting rid of a card. I can do some damage, but I need to do some healing also. All right. I also need to do some thwarting, because if I don't do some thwarting, I'm in for a heap of trouble right there. Plus, I need to go and Rhino's going to scheme this next round. So I think our first order of business is going to be the I've Got a Plan. So I have to figure out how to pay for the I've Got a Plan, which I think I'm going to pay for with my hand cannon. Which is my only two cost card, but I've got a lot of restricted things out there. Oh, which way to go with that? Okay, we're going to pay for it with Rocket's Pistol. All right. So we're gonna do, I've got a plan which says, after you make a basic thwart ready rocket, he's gonna get plus one thwart while in hero form until the end of the phase. So right now we're thwarting for two. I'm gonna take out the breaking and taking. All right, so that exhausts rocket. And then I play my, I've got a plan, which is make a basic thwart ready rocket. He gets plus one thwart. All right, so I'm gonna ready rocket. He's got plus one thwart. He's gonna thwart for three. Off of the break-in and taken. And it's down to two. Or sorry, off of the break-in. All right. Now, let's see here. We could spew out damage. Or we can put some counters on a weapon. I think we're going to use our... No, we can't use our hand cannon anymore. Our rhino suit is going to soak up five damage, which is super annoying right now. I'm not sure that I want to keep my hand cannon going. Wow, I wish I had a big attack to take out that rhino suit all at once, but I don't. Hmm. Choices. So this would give me two charge counters and would ready an upgrade. So actually, 
I could put those on the battery pack. That's kind of an interesting idea. Do I go that way? I could put them on the hand cannon or I could put them on the battery pack, which would let me... And I could move those two charge counters elsewhere. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. All right, so we're going to exhaust our battery pack. Let's put a charge counter on our rocket launcher. All right, we're going to go ahead and shoot our rocket launcher. I'm going to take one off of it. And everything's going to take two, so actually it's going to put two damage is going to go there to the armored rhino suit. All right. Um, mm. Actually, let's take that back. We're going to put our charge counter, instead of putting it there, we're going to put it here. Put our charge counter on our hand cannon, we're going to let our rocket launcher exhaust so it's done its attack. All right, so it's out of counters at this point in time. So the battery pack went on the hand cannon. All right, we're going to play Flora and Fauna. We're going to put two counters on the battery pack. Not sure if it's the best way to do all this, and it's going to ready up. All right, I've got two counters on there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to flip to rocket. We're going to use our action to discard a tech upgrade I control, which is going to be my rocket launcher, to draw two cards. One, two. I'm going to use strength to bring a hand cannon into play. And it's going to get Two charge counters, right? Three charge counters. Three. All right. That's going to finish us up. We're done. We're going to ready all of our stuff up. Still not in a great spot. And draw back up to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now we're going to go over to the villain's turn. So villain's turn, one third of the main scheme. That's gonna go up to three, yuck. Rhino's gonna see Rocket out there. So Rhino is going to scheme for one. He's gonna get a boost of one, so he's gonna scheme for two. So we're up to five out of seven. We're gonna draw an encounter card. Counter card is a crisis on half world. Oh, all right. So I can either discard the highest, I can flip to alter ego form, discard the highest car cost upgrade you control. If no upgrade was discarded this way, this card gains surge. Then I would discard the obligation. So the highest cost upgrade I have is one of my hand cannons right now. But I've got this big particle can, cannon sitting out here, and I have two restricted hand cannons. So I think I'm going to go with that route and discard this and get rid of my hand cannon, which frees me up to put my particle cannon out there. All right, so let's see here. And then the bottom of that says, discard the highest card cost upgrade you control. If no upgrade was discarded this way, this card gains surge. Then I discard the obligation. So we're gonna discard the obligation. Okay. That's the end of the villain's turn. We're back over to the hero's turn. Okay, so let's see here. 
fun things are we've got a lot of threat on the main scheme. I'm a hurting unit. I do have a big old particle cannon I can play, which looks very interesting. That's going to cost me three to get out there. So I think we're going to do a relentless assault and two booster boots to get my particle cannon out there. And that's going to come into play with two charge counters on it. All right, now, deal is I really need to heal his rocket. So I think we're going to recover for three. It's going to take me from seven up to four. I am going to discard my booster boots. So choose and discard a tech upgrade you control. So my booster boots and draw two cards. So we've got to chase them down and a chase them down. Well, that's after I defeat an enemy. All right. Um, we're going to flip over to rocket. All right. We're going to use a hero action, which says exhaust particle cannon, remove one charge counter, deal four damage to an enemy. The attack gains overkill and ranged. So we're going to use one charge off of, off of our particle cannon. We're going to do four damage to the rhino suit, which will all sit on the rhino suit and make it go away. All right. Then. Do we reload and hit him again? So we're going to use our battery pack. Move one counter from there to here. And we're going to hit our reload. Reload says ready each tech upgrade you control. So that's going to ready and this is going to ready. We're going to shoot our particle particle cannon again. It's going to do four damage. We're going to rock, knock Rhino down to 11. All right, so here's the gamble. What I'm looking at is I potentially have enough damage to do four, eight, eight next round. So do I have Groot? thwart on the break-in or do I have him attack Rhino and knock him down to nine? I think what I do is I have him attack, attack Rhino and knock him down to nine. So that's what we're going to do. Living on the edge here. So he's going to take two consequential damage to attack Rhino, knock him down to nine. Getting close. We'll see if this works out. All right, he's at nine. Then, uh, was there anything else I can do? I can't go at him with my hand cannon because I'm exhausted from resting. If I had not have rested, I could have tossed another amount of damage on him, which might have been good, but we'll let that slide for now. We're going to ditch these two cards because I don't think they do us any good. I think, depending on how many we're going to draw. Yeah, we're going to draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We don't want him to get another encounter card right now. So we're just getting what we can, what we can get. And I think I've only seen, maybe I've seen both pistols. All right. So there's a hand cannon. Oh, there's another rocket pistol. Now looking for trouble. All right. So what are we looking at there? Here's a new card. We've got a cybernetic skeleton, which is giving me plus three points and plus one attack. Ooh, that could be the thing. We'll see. Uh, we got another rocket pistol. We got a salvage and a looking for trouble. All right. So we're exhausting all of our stuff. We're going to see how this round goes. Okay, I could have put another charge counter on a thing, but it doesn't matter at this point in time. All right, so we're going to go over to Rhino's turn. First thing, one threat on the main scheme. Rhino is going to look to attack Rocket Raccoon, but Groot is going to block this one. 
All right, so Rhino's doing three. He's going to get a boost of two. So he's doing five, which takes out Groot. Groot's gone. All right, no more Groot for now. Now we draw the encounter card. What's the encounter card? It's probably going to be an advance. It's an advance. It's an advance. Of course it's an advance. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, ah, sorry. I bent down and my mic is right here and, ah. <laughs> oh, man. So the advance means that he's going to scheme out. Oh. What if we had drawn the next card? It would have been a Sandman. See, Sandman would have been okay. See, if Sandman would have come out instead... What we've been looking at is we particle cannon for four. But actually what happens is we put our cybernetic skeleton into play. That gives me plus one attack. And uh, we attack for one, two, three, four. Oh, we particle cannon for four. We're still one short. Mm. We could have done... I don't know. Gah. <laughs> it was the advance. Damn it. Damn the advances and Rhino. So close. All right. So let's see. Takeaways from this game is one. There was a there was one turn where I really messed up. I should have gotten rid of Thwart when I played, or I could have gotten rid of Threat when I played that turn, and I jacked that one up bad. So learning experience. It's one of the great things about playing this game. Um, Need to play that better. Uh, the thing with the restricted weapons is really weird because it's it can be tough to get rid of them when you have them out there. Holding on to two hand cannons, I'm not sure that that's a great way to go um, because you can only attack once per round, uh, and if you count if you have to exhaust a thwart or something else, then you can't really make use of the hand cannons. So I'm thinking having the pistols are going to end up being better than having the hand cannons out there because you can use them without um, having to attack. So you can use your thwarts or other things. So um, hand cannons look cool. They're a neat aggression card, but I think Rocket's other guns are going to end up being better. Battery pack is pretty interesting. Trying to figure out how to use that. Uh, definitely going over to... Rocket's alter ego side is huge for Rocket because you need to be able to get rid of those cards and um, getting the extra cards is a big deal. I think the other thing is I need to figure out how to make better use of looking for trouble. So that one to get rid of threat I think is going to be really big for Rocket plus Rocket and his overkill stuff uh, seems to work out pretty good. The only thing I'm concerned about is there's not a whole lot of minions in the uh, Rhino. Well, I guess there's a decent amount of minions in here. We've got the Hydra Bombers. We've got um, the Guards or the Mercenaries. Yeah, there's a decent amount in there. The only, only problems are Shocker and Sand Man. So maybe it's not too bad to throw those out there. All right, so learning experience with Rocket. Now, what do I think about Rocket? I like being able to shoot. He's got a crazy amount of guns. That's kind of fun. Um, there's the counter management piece of it. Need to figure that out. I don't feel like he's a super powerful hero uh, as I'm playing him right now. So I think he's going to be kind of, he's, he's built to do things with his weapons, which mean a lot of the cards that are out there, like his stuff is around tech upgrades and the guns in the counters. So um, I'm wondering how useful other cards out there that are generic cards, if I were going to mix them in and see what works well with them. So um, we'll have to see. I, I think I can play a better Rhino this ne next go around because I, I think it, this game was on me. I did some stuff wrong that would have made this game go better. So. We will go to round two. So we're zero and one versus standard Rhino. I lost the standard Rhino. I feel horrible saying that, um, but it happens sometimes. That's the way it goes. If it hadn't been for that advance, I think I could have got him, but uh, such is the way it goes. All right, 
let me know. Um, interesting thing, I'm just playing with the pre-constructed deck. What cards are you playing with Rocket that you like a lot? Seem to combo with him really good. Let me know. Um, have you played other aspects with Rocket or have you just played Aggression? Kind of interested in other aspects with Rocket and how well he pairs with different things. Uh, you got a, you got a, a suggestion from Marvel CDB of a good Rocket deck? I'm sure, I haven't looked, I'm sure there's a million of them out there. Is there a deck out there that you like to play, let me know. Um, so that's it for now. Next up is going to be round two with Rhino, and thanks for watching.